Hey, it's Arant here. In this video, I'm going to share with you an advanced strategy on how to create traffic and generate traffic to your existing website and affiliate links using other people's content online. Now, this strategy is done using a software called Snipply, which is a Chrome extension that you can download. And I will leave the link somewhere below for you to also sign up for it. Now, I have been using uh, Snipely for a while and I've kind of been, been using it on and off. And I've also bought an AppSumo deal recently, which is available. So that was really good. I was really happy when I saw the deal and I, I bought it. Now, I'm gonna to explain to you the use case before I show you how it looks. So the use case is that when I'm sharing a document, a blog post of someone else, someone else's website, the traffic that I'm sending is actually going to someone else's website. Now, in some cases, I want to share other people's websites because there is content there which is valuable, it's helpful, and it's very relevant. But I still want to not just have people go to that website, but I still want to somehow get the traffic redirected to me. And there's a really good use case for that. So in my YouTube channel, you would see that oftentimes I do talk tech tutorials and software tutorials on different platforms. Now, for example, I have a full playlist on New Zendler. I have a full playlist on Searchy. I have a playlist on System IO. I have a playlist on Kajabi and things along these lines. And in some cases, sharing the actual support document directly of these companies is what is required. And in the case that I'm about to show you, I've recorded a video tutorial on Searchy. And in the description of the YouTube video, I want to include a Searchy support document. But I want people to still click my affiliate link in case they decide to sign up for Searchy. So that's the use case. I'm sharing a support document from Searchy on my YouTube channel, but it redirects to my affiliate link. Let me show you what I mean. So here is the support document, okay? And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this link. Then I'm gonna go to Snipely or Snipply, and I'm gonna create a new campaign or a new link. So you can see right here, I can click on enter URL. I'm gonna paste it in. I'm gonna click on create snip. Now what it's going to do is it's going to create this page which is gonna go directly to the support document, but it will have a pop-up like this from me on someone else's website where it's gonna say this. So now I can actually tweak how this looks. For example, I can change the URL. So it basically what it's going to be, this content is going to say, sign up for Searchy, um, you know, free trial, for example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to uh, Switchy and I'm gonna search for my Searchy affiliate link. And here it is, around.link forward slash Searchy. I'm gonna copy that link. I'm gonna go back to Snipely or Snipply and I'm gonna paste this in right here. You know, Searchy offers a 14 day free trial and I give bonuses as part of it. Or claim, claim my bonuses when you sign up. Something like that, right? And here it is. Now, this might be a little bit long. I'm gonna click on, oh, I'm gonna change this. Let me, let me just change this to a new call to action. Select brand, that's okay, that's me. I'm gonna make it a button, like this. Use my affiliate link. I give awesome bonuses for searchy and then paste in the URL, click on continue, bottom left, show logo, I can make it social like that, I can make it full width as well, so you can see it's like going to be like this, I can do like a candy style, I can do a bean style, like that, in this case probably social will probably look the best, yeah, that works, okay, now I'm going to click on finish CTA. Now, instead of searching, uh, uh, sharing this link, basically, I am going to share this link. So I'll show you the comparison. This is actually going to be the same support document, but it's going to be one of them is my, with my affiliate link included and one without it. So this is without me, my affiliate link. This one with, right, so you can see when they can see the information and they can be like, oh yeah, I want to sign up for a searchy affiliate and claim my bonuses. And that's how I can actually get traffic to my content. So when I create a tutorial on YouTube, on a software, for example, I can still share the content from 
the official company, but I can still get the traffic to my affiliate link. So now this will not work with every single website, but a lot of websites it does. And again, this is a, uh, using a tool called Snipely, a really good uh, tool that I highly recommend you check out. And uh, yeah, that's about it. If you got value from this video, let me know and leave a comment below uh, with the word value if you have found this particular video helpful. If you have any other tutorials you want me to record, let me know, leave a comment below and uh, let me know what your questions are and I'm happy to share. Okay, I'll speak to you soon.